Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about <laughs> Hey guys, so Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about zombies and the origin of zombies, history and all stuff. And I'm going to be doing pop art zombie makeup thing inspired by Grace Kathleen. I'll put her thing right here. So let's get started. So I'm going to first be taking my snazzer white face paint thing and I'm going to be aligning where I'm going to put the zombie and then I'm going to be back to talk about it. So I probably look really ridiculous right now, but I covered my eyebrows, I covered them using scar wax, and I covered them, obviously. And then I just filled in the rest. So this is kind of like a pop art zombie skull thing, again, inspired by Grace Kathleen. It is pouring rain right outside, so I'm sorry that it's dark. I can't control the weather, even though it would be really cool if I did. So I'm going to be using the Mayron 30, or I'm going to be using the Mayron Paradise paints. So I'm going to be taking this shade right here and painting all of my face blue except for some portions. I'm sure that was great instructions. Zombie traits. A zombie according to pop culture and folklore is usually after a, or it's usually either a reawakened corpse with a revengeous appetite for someone bitten by another zombie infected with the zombie virus. Zombies are usually portrayed as strong but robotic beings with rotten flesh. Their only mission is to feed. They typically don't have conversations, although sometimes they may grunt a little. Okay, so the origin of the zombies. So ancient Greeks may have been the first civilization terrorized by a fear of the undead. Archaeologists have unearthed many ancient graves that have contained skeletons pinned down by rocks and other heavy objects assumed to prevent the dead bodies from reanimating. Zombie folklore has been around for centuries in Haiti possibly originating in the 17th century when West African slaves were brought into work on Haiti's sugarcane plantations. In brutal conditions, they left the slaves longing for freedom. According to some reports of life, or the life or afterlife um, of the zombie represented, represented the horrific uh, flight of slavery. We're going to talk a little bit more about the zombies. So zombies and voodoo. So voodoo is a religion based in the West Africa and practiced through Haiti and the Caribbean, Brazil, and South Africa and other places with African heritage. 
Many people who follow the voodoo religion today believe that zombies are myths. Some believe zombies are people revived as voodoo practitioners, known as the Bokor. Bokors have a tradition of using herbs and shells, fish and animal parts, and bones and other objects to create con concoctions, including zombie powders, which contain tetrodotoxin, a deadly neurotoxin found in pufferfish, and some other marine species. So now I'm just going to be taking this pink and filling up here. So now that we've got the pink on, we're going to be doing the yellow teeth. Yeah. Used carefully at a sub-lethal doses, the tetrodoxin combination may cause zombie-like symptoms, such as difficulty walking, men mental confusion, and respiratory problems. High doses of tetrodoxin can lead to paralysis and coma. This could cause someone to appear dead or and be buried alive, then later revived. So now we're going to talk about the real zombies reported in medical journeys. Though it is rare, there are several credible reports in medical journeys of people being these compounds in, of, to introduce paralysis in people, then revived from the grave. So now that you know that, I'm just going to quickly do the teeth. So I'm just going to be taking this shade right here. In 1997 article in British Medical Journal, the Lankit described three variable, verifiable accounts of zombies. In one case, a, a woman who appeared to be dead was buried in a family tomb, only to reappear three years later. An investigation revealed that her tomb was filled with stones, and her parents agreed to admit her to the local hospital. In other well-documented cases, a man named Clarvis Narcissus entered a local hospital with severe respiratory problems in 1962 after he slipped into a coma. He was declared dead, was buried shortly after. But 18 years later, a man walked up to Angelina Narcissus in a village marketplace insisting that she was his sister. Doctors, townspeople, and family members all identified him as Clarvis, who claimed that who claimed he'd been buried alive, then dug up and then put to work in a distant sugar plantation. So zombies and pop culture. According to the undead 18th century by Linda Trost. Zombies appeared in the literature as far back as 1697 and were described as spirits or ghosts, not cannibalistic friends. Friends? 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 Oh, not friends. So now I'm just going to be taking the black and outlining, filling in the eyes, and filling in this. And I'll be right back to talk about the rest of the zombies. Let's go with this one.
Okay, so this is the final look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's kind of like a zombie skull thing. I really wanted to recreate the look from Grace Kathleen, so I thought this would be the perfect time doing it for our Freaky Friday Zombie Edition. If you guys want to see me actually do a real scary zombie, then comment down below and I will do that. And I can totally do it for Halloween as well. I will probably will end up doing it for Halloween anyways. So, again, I'm so happy with how this look turned out. So finishing what I said about the zombies. If we will ever load. So they arrived on the film scene around the same time as their monster peers Frankenstein and Dracula with the 1932 release of White Zombie. But it wasn't until 1968 that zombies acquired a cult following of their own with the release of The Night of the Living Dead. Over the next 15 years, uh, So from 1980 on, dozens of zombie films were made, even Scooby-Doo Battle Zombies in 1998 film, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, and 2013 release of World War Z starring Brad Pitt brought zombie culture to a disturbing new level. Not surprisingly, t television jumped on the zombie bandwagon with shows iZombie and Helix, but no zombies ever terrified more television viewers than the on The Walking Dead. Are zombies in the Bible. The modern day carnivorous carnivorous carnivore. So the, the modern day carnivore uh, zombie isn't in the Bible, but there are many references to bodies being reanimated and resurrected, which may have inspired zombie myths throughout history. So the book of Ezekiel describes visions where it Ezekiel is dropped in a bone yard and prophecies to the bones. The bones start to shake and become covered with muscles and flesh until they are reanimated, yet there is no breath in them. The book of Isaiah states, Thy men, thy dead men shall live, together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew is as the dew of herbs and the earth shall cast out the dead. Moreover, passages around the both around in both in Old and New Testaments around the resurrection of saints and sinners in the end time. So that is my facts about zombies. I got this again off with just searching up facts about zombies and searching up the history of zombies on Google. I will link it down below if you like to read. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did not know. I learned some new things, especially about the Haiti um, sugarcane plantations. I did not know that before. So that was really cool to learn about. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you want to see any other videos or any of my other content, please, please. If you'd like to follow me on all the social medias, my Instagram is mbk underscore beauty underscore, and my TikTok is mbk underscore beauty. And my Etsy is Caitlin Cosmetic Shop, and we just checked it out. And yeah, so once again, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what other videos you'd like to see, or if you'd like me to turn into a actual scary zombie. I can totally do that. Like I said, I just wanted to recreate this look. And please go give Grace Kathleen a big follow and big love. And 